What's going on everyone? I've finally completed the second season and finished getting 100 score rank and completed the scoreboard. Before I do go on to any of this, I am happy that I managed to complete this again without having to spend any atoms, but the little bit of time to spare before the season's up and I don't have to really worry about challenges, things like that. Um, you can still see that it says I have rank 1 out of 1. I'll get more into that in a sec. But i um, glad that I made another video last time for Season 1. I collected everything as well and kind of shared my thoughts on the season. This next season, I've been very blind to the rewards. I've tried not to spoil stuff too much or like not look into many uh, data mine things. So in the process, this is kind of my first time seeing some of these things on the scoreboard. Um, so I'll be able to give kind of fresh eyes and fresh perspective on some of them. Uh, but I did plan to grab them on one of my characters because I was really interested in getting the perk packs and then turning that into perk coins. And more on that later and in a future video, but stay tuned. Um, I will say that my score rank 1 of 1 that I see in the bottom corner normally is a reminder for me to go to the scoreboard before loading up the game. That's normally helped avoid it popping up and giving you the, you know, rank to what, one to whatever rank you actually are bug. Uh, like I said, I did claim the first so many. Happy to see various things thrown in here besides the, lo the lunch boxes and the kind of supplies that you start to get, whether it's, you know, the health kit or resources turns into currency, whether it's script or caps. And then I do know that when this first came out, the weight bench was abused. I actually never <laughs> noticed that until after the fact and I've only placed it in one of the camps that I've messed with. I have placed the wooden log door on one of my camps, but for the most part, I'm not too familiar with the skins and other things that are added. So like I said, this is a very fresh look at this for me. I do know that I'm going to walk away with a bunch of perk packs hop into the game so I make sure I claim those perk packs on the appropriate character and then that is going to help me with a future video that is going to be a thousand perk coins on one of my characters uh, from scratch and then I'm going to spend them kind of turn that into a build video and explain what I think could be a very good build for at least one of my characters one of my play styles but that'll be in a future video I'm pretty happy that my scoreboard isn't as laggy as it was last time. I don't know what it was about the last season, but uh, definitely was much harder to rest across the board. Even if there's a little bit of frame rate drop here, it's this is nothing compared to last time. But I'm going to go through. I'm going to stock up on all these lunch boxes. I haven't played on this character in a little bit, so all these atoms or lunch boxes and again perk packs being specifically put to this character is going to benefit this character a lot because now I have the opportunity to spend all those resources however I want and now at the end of the season I will also be able to apply different skins place new furniture and see what else I get and then I'm going to compare a little bit of what we got here Also, anybody that's been hanging out with us knows that I really do not use power armor, so anytime I see a power armor skin, it's for me, it's nothing. Chip in a bottle? Sure. I'll make a little study. I'll put that on the desk. Why not? 150 atoms? Perfect. I was just saying that I need more atoms. Old bullion? Perfect. Red Viper Metal Armor. I've actually just switched most of my armor on one of my characters to be all ghillie. Don't know if I'll ever use this one specifically, but not opposed to having more options. Rad kit bundle, have no idea what that is, probably just right away. Armor ace frame, I'm not really too in much into the frames. The foosball table, hell yeah. So perk card pack number one. More lunch boxes, another power armor skin. More chems of sorts. Vintage Nuka Shine times 12. My character is going to be over encumbered when I leave this. 50 atoms. Perfect. So that's another, what, like three bucks in atoms between those two that I just got. So 2,500 caps. I don't think I'm close to cap cap. 
that would be terrible if I leave here and lose that on some stuff. An officer's gas mask. I feel like I've seen this, and I didn't know where it came from. I didn't actually know it came from this season, and I'm pretty happy that now I have this. I won't use it on this character, but I'll use it on my other character. Scrap kits, I, I guess. I don't know. I always wind up getting rid of these, honestly. Subjugator little icon? Sure, why not? Card pack number two. And then again, I don't have a character close to a thousand scripts, so I'm not too worried, but I will be very close. So if I add up too much, I may have to stop for a sec, just double check I didn't go over on caps, which isn't as bad as going over on script. But I don't want to go over on either of those. If anybody does approach their collection the way I'm doing it, which I imagine everybody just collects stuff as they go. Um, these are the factors you have to think about and kind of plan ahead to. Let's just say you did wait until the end the way I go about this. If uh, you wanted to put some resources... I didn't even know nuclear keycards were a reward. Okay. So if you wanted to, let's say, put nuclear keycards on the character that you wanted it on. Let's just say you looked ahead and you're like, okay, I want to put... Maybe another perk card pack onto a different character, and then I wanted to put maybe lunchbox on a different character. You can hop around and then claim them on the character that you want. The way I'm doing it is I'm just committing this character to get just an influx of types of stuff. The basic repair kits I like. The scrap kits, not so much. I see no evil. Yeah, I've seen a couple of these. Ironically, I guess. Perk card pack number three. Red Viper fatigues. Lunchboxes. I'm going to have lunchboxes for the next couple of events we run tomorrow. Oh, I'm excited. Might not be a double XP weekend, but definitely going to level up. The electric train set. I've seen people place these in like different rooms of their camps, but I always see the people that start to clip things and merge, whatever the term I should be using is. They've come up with some very interesting things. I've seen like... Um, Kind of like those outdoor tables that you would see, or almost like park tables. I've seen that merge with this, and everybody kind of sits around the uh, train set. I really like that. Can't recall who it was that did that, though. Another 150 atoms. Keep them coming. So far, I'm getting a lot of atoms. I feel like last season, I have to double check in terms of the totals, but it feels like this season I'm getting more atoms, or at least more often throughout the scoreboard. I can't remember last year time if it was like 50 atoms, 50 atoms, 100, 100, now it's just like all average or something. Old Billion, I'll keep collecting. Watching, I've seen this one, I didn't actually know it came from here. Um, perk card pack number four. So now I'm up to 16 cards. Just with that. So 16 cards turns into 32 perk coins and then see how far we can go with that. I do like these kind of wallpapers. I really hope that not just wallpapers, but like, I don't know, have the ability to decorate a ceiling or remove the less than appealing ceilings. Rust bucket hammer. So is this for a super sledge? I imagine so. Fifty atoms. <clears throat> We're starting to come around this corner down here. Starting to get more script now. Two fifty. Um, I do believe I run the risk of going over. Might not be a lot, but as I look ahead on this, I should have at least one, maybe even two more bundles of script to collect. All right, I am now back onto this character where I'm going to finish claiming the rest. I have 678 scripts, so worst case scenario, I won't go over by collecting another 250. I'll be closer to that thousand mark between this character and my other character, so I will be prepped for one of the next purveyor videos. Going back to the scoreboard, though. Again, the different armor paints aren't really going to affect me. I kind of 
like to set up different characters with their own attire and I don't actually show the armor underneath. But more times than not, I'm not actually using those. I like the uh, speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. Now we're on to perk card pack number 5. So that's 20 uh, perk cards, which would be 40 perk coins. The shooting gallery. I had honestly, so this looks funny. I think I'd place it down once, but then wind up removing it shortly after. I, I personally don't see myself keeping this long term. Some more atoms. Some more gold. Yeah. Power patrol icon. That's cool. Oh, it's two per card packs. I maybe miscounted the others, but we'll just count that as uh, six and seven. Brotherhood Field Station. I've seen some of these, and I actually thought this was from the Atom Shop, and I missed it or something. More lunch boxes. This character's going to have so many lunch boxes when I'm done. We're going to have an awesome weekend of running events. That's all I'm going to say. Tropic Lightning Camo Skin? Is this supposed to be for a handmade? Or is this an assault rifle? I'm not sure which weapon this changes it. But that does look kind of cool. More atoms, perfect. But now here's that 250 script I was talking about. If I'm correct, there shouldn't be any others now. Okay, just double checking here. Secret Service armor. Some more scrap kits. Speak no evil. Another two perk card kits and or two perk card packs. We have now nine, and there's still I think one more to collect. The armor race backpack. I might wrap this for a little bit. I do prefer the original kind of Corvega one. Six lunch boxes. So funny how they stack up. Armor ace jetpack. I actually have not set up any of my. Uh, Jetpacks or any of that stuff yet. The mind blown. Is this uh, an emo? I assume this is an emo or is this an icon? It might be an icon. 150 atoms, some more gold. Tank helmet. Um, probably not going to write that. 15 basic repair kits. Yep, my character's going to be stuck and not be able to move at all. Special issue paint. That's kind of cool. And it's three card packs. Oh, I did not prep for this at all. But now I have at least 12 that I've collected, and it's possible that I missed one of them, and it was maybe two that it gave me instead of just one pack. The sub -gator mask? Uh, <laughs> this is kind of funny. I might rep that again for a couple of quick screenshots, but don't see any long-term use of that. Nine lunchboxes? Oh, man. sub -gator outfit. You need that to go along with the mask, I suppose, right? And then second to last. Honestly, this was this was a big one for me. For me, this was what I really wanted, the greenhouse set. Now I'm going to be able to design much, I guess, more... I don't know, not varied, but like different ways to approach building and how I want things to be seen or an implied boundary or something like that. Um, if I make mazes, it might be a little harder to get through the maze. Um, if I can have everything as glass walls where you can see through, but you don't actually know the path to get there. I'll mess with that a little later too, but we're on the second to last here. Then, last but not least, we do get the bundle here. The Armor Ace Bundle. Pum 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 pum! Pum 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 pum! The Armor Ace Bundle does come with, and saying the Ace full assault power armor, the steins that you see here, game board, and it comes with 500 atoms. Okay, that's nice. And again, power armor for me. I don't use power armor, so it's not as flashy. But anybody that is repping different power armors, you guys did get multiple skins that you'll be able to apply to whichever one you're using. And then at the same time, if you like repping whatever armor you have, maybe under the clothes, you'll be able to have the other skins that we've added along collecting through these. But I'm happy that I saved all these. Um, I do believe there was a few people that mentioned this se season seemed to be a little worse in comparison. 
Um, I have to go through and see the actual numbers. I didn't crunch any of the numbers. I don't know what the exacts are. But just from claiming it after the fact, after waiting and being patient until I'm hitting 100 to claim them, I'm happy. It seems like there was a good amount given to me. I don't feel shortchanged in any way in any of the resources. It uh, feels like there's a lot of lunchboxes. I don't know if there was more lunchboxes this time or what. I am happy to see a bunch of atoms coming my way. That'll be going towards future bundles in the Atomic Shop. But, no, everything's good. I'm I'm happy, again, have claimed these and gone in blind and didn't really know going into this what to expect. And I do appreciate that after you've collected things and you go back to your character, it'll say how much you've collected. So that's pretty cool, too. And then I think when I started this video, I was at 2,900 atoms, I believe. So that's that's good. I've gotten a good amount. And then, again, I'm not going to hurt as much when the uh, next bundle for 1,200 or 1,500 atoms comes out. And then I'll have more atoms to mess with. And I don't necessarily suggest doing it the way I do it. If you want to have more of a rewarding or enjoyable experience that kind of rewards you as you go along, obviously claim them as you go. Um, for me, I wanted to give a little commentary, see how it felt to get everything all at once, especially not really knowing what to expect. Some of the things I've seen people either wear or post things online. Then some of the other ones I was like, oh, is this an atom shop thing that I missed? So again, kind of clarity and figuring out what's uh, the overall rewards from this was kind of cool. But I'm glad I got this done. I did get a bunch of perk card packs. Um, if I go to my character, it says I have six level ups, but if I go to per card packs in the corner, it is 12 like I wound up tallying in the corner, or in the during the session in the corner of my notebook over here. Now, <laughs> I have all these per card packs that I'm going to turn into an opportunity for me to dive into some more content, dive into my character building, and then it's going to go from a thousand perk coins hopefully zero, hopefully I spend them all. If not, I'll leave maybe 50, 100, depending on what's left uh, for a future investment into another legendary perk card. But we'll, there's more on that later, so stay tuned. And anybody that's been checking out this video, appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. I do hope you found this video informative. Uh, this will be the second season that I do this, and I, I found it informative, and I'm most likely going to do the same thing next season. Uh, next season, I will aim to have 100 to claim by the time I make this video, as opposed to accidentally opening up a few of them. Um, and then again, maybe some of you think the way I'm doing it is a good idea to save them up. Maybe some of you guys are thinking, I, I can't wait to maybe hit 100 to claim all those things, especially something like the, the greenhouse walls. I was definitely tempted when I hit 99 to claim that, and I think I hit 99... Maybe at the end of last weekend when we had the double XP and then all those times that leveling up over and over and over again for the weekly challenge. Um, but no, I, I, again, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you found this informative. Definitely stay tuned for more content. And if you are new to this, new to the stream, new to the channel over here on YouTube, uh, poke around. There'll be information in the description about more stuff that I got going on over here. And... Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and then you'll be notified next time I got something new going on. And yeah, you guys take care. Until next time. Later, everyone.